I can sit here and tell you, you don't hit your goals because you don't take action, you're lazy, you don't know how, you procrastinate, and those would all be true, right? But after doing 17,000 coaching calls, you start to notice patterns that people are doing that are successful versus unsuccessful. But what are they? My name is Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design, and today's video is about your dreams and goals, why you don't hit them. And I'm going to dive in and tell you the top two reasons why that is. So let's jump right in. The first one is attachment. Most people are so attached to their goals. Like the dreams that they have, they're so attached that it's like, it's like taking a puppy. When you're attached and you love it and you cuddle it so much and you squeeze it so much, you're so attached to it and all of a sudden it can't breathe and it dies, right? What happens with most people is they get so attached, it's like cutting the airway off. There's no lifeline to come through. And so that stops them. They're so attached to their goals and that will lead into the second part here in a moment, but they're so attached that they can't hit their goals, right? And it's like they limit themselves to one way, right? Like they're so attached, like I want to release, you know, X, Y, Z, and they got to go run every day, run, 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 run. Like there's no other possible way that they can release weight, right? Like maybe it's inflammation in the body or stress that if they would just stop stressing, they would meditate, that they would do something to relieve that stress that the body wouldn't hold on and produce that cortisol and your body would release and you would actually release weight. But since they're so focused on one area, they'll just run, 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 run. And yeah, they might release a little bit of stress, but as soon as they're done running, guess what they do? They stress out even more because they're so attached to one way that they cut off all other ways of doing it. What I always like to say, and I just got off the phone a little bit ago with a client, they don't like setting goals, right? So we just call them targets. And I told them the goal is to set a target that you're going to be aiming towards, but not be attached to. Right? You're not attached where you got to do it this one way, you got to have this goal. But on the flip side, you're not on the other side where you're like, oh, I don't really care about the goal, I just, <clears throat> if it comes, it comes. If I hit it, I hit it. No, it's like there's this middle ground where you know you're moving towards that target, but you're not so attached that it has to be done this one way. Right? And how you know if you're attached, you say things like, I should do this, I have to do this, I got to do that. Right? Using those language patterns is a great way to show that you're attached to a situation and when you're attached, it's like cutting off the airway. So the reason, one reason why most people aren't hitting their goals or their dreams is because they're so freaking attached and they get attached to one way of doing it. It's like they cut the airway off. The second thing is resistance. Most people, when they set a goal or a target, they have so much resistance. I don't want to give up drinking beer or, or wine. I don't want to stop eating my favorite desserts to release the weight. I don't want to have to sacrifice sleep in order to hit my goals or increase my finances or start this business, right? Like they have all these, all this resistance. And all that is, resistance or baggage, all that is is an energetic block, right? There's this energetic block that's within someone and they're not even aware of it most of the times. And that's the reason why it's so powerful to have a coach or someone in your corners, they can point out those energetic blocks because they're stepping back and they're seeing the bigger picture, right? It's like, you know, sometimes me and my wife will go out somewhere and I'll get done, you know, we'll get back in the car somewhere and I'll be like, babe, you didn't tell me I had something in my teeth? And she's like, oh, I wasn't looking. And I'm like, either was I, and you let me talk to that person like this? But if she was sitting there observing my teeth, right, she would be able to say, hey, you got something in your teeth, because I wouldn't notice it. But having that outside perspective, if they're paying attention, right, like a coach, they're paying attention to what's going on, what's stopping you, they can point that out. But we have this resistance that shows up. I said that they're energetic blocks. And I, look, I'll, I'll say this. <clears throat> I used to have major resistance in my financial world. And what I mean by that is, I don't know about you, but I grew up, you know, I wasn't like deathly poor. We had a decent life, but we didn't have, you know, we weren't balling by any means, right? Like, let's just say I would look for Nikes or Vans at Payless, right? And so I would look for name brand clothes in these stores that definitely did not, you know, carry that brand. So anyway, so growing up, I, I wasn't exposed to abundance and wealth mentality. 
And so I took that in my financial world where <clears throat> when I joined the Marine Corps, having like $1,500 a month come in was like, whoa. And then I lived around $1,500 to $2,500 a month in the military. And to me, that was like a ton of money. And as soon as I got out, I would like, I would just spend and I'd find myself in, you know, getting into $40,000 debt. And when I would get more money, for some reason, something would happen. I, it was like, I self-sabotaged. There was this like internal resistance or baggage that didn't allow me to get ahead. I, you know, I get ahead, I pay off some debt and I go right back in it, right? And it wasn't until I started working around this resistance and this baggage that I had. And when I started to do that, I would allow me to get out of debt and not go back into it. And therefore, I would be able to put a little bit of money away and a little bit more. And over time, that little bid stacked up to be a lot. And for me, I was just like, wow. As soon as I addressed the baggage, that's when, or that resistance, that's when things started to flow. Think about it like a drain, right? If you have some, if you're trying to put water down a drain, but there's some something that's resistant and a rag or some blockage, some baggage down in that drain, that water is just going to back up, back up, back up, back up. <clears throat> and you're never going to get your goal of having the water go down the drain. Well, if you would just remove that resistance, that baggage, all of a sudden you get your goal. The water goes away. You get to achieve what you wanted to achieve. Maybe you're shaving. I don't know. But that resistance is now gone. And when that resistance is gone, things can start to flow. In your life, there's energetic blocks, limiting beliefs, things that stop you. Well, what is a bad, what is baggage or resistance? How do I know if I have it? Well, there are those kind of disempowering emotions, just uh, overwhelm, doubt, fear, right? Like that's all signs of resistance or baggage towards your goal. Most people, they set a target, they're so gung-ho, they go to a conference, they read a book, they watch a movie, and they're like, I'm gonna go make 150 grand this year. And they're like so pumped up. And as soon as they hit right resistance, guess what happens? their goals go down the drain. So if you're going to achieve your dreams and goals, you got to look and say, one, am I too attached to my goal, right? Like think about if you were dating someone and you were just smothering them over and over and over. What's going to tend to happen is that other person is going to leave you, right? Um, you're, they're just, they can't handle it. When you smother people, some like a goal, all of a sudden, like when you're so attached, it cuts off the airway. It's impossible to achieve it. The other one though is the resistance and the baggage. When you have that, it's how are you ever going to allow things to flow in your life? As soon as you remove those blocks, things start to flow. When I remove my resistance, I stopped making, you know, under $2,000 a month. And I started making, you know, that next level of income, four or five grand a month. And then once I started working there, I had my I created these self limitations that I could only make four or five grand a month. And then when I started working around that and going through what I actually went through a breakthrough session that allowed me, a friend gifted it to me. My wife does breakthrough sessions and we have our coaches that do breakthrough sessions. It, it literally gets to the root of a problem in a specific area. I did mine around finances because I couldn't get past the four or five grand a month mark every month and it was just like, what is going on? And I was like, ah, it's resistance. And I know I have some form of baggage. So a friend gifted it to me and all of a sudden I've been making well over five figures a month from that point forward. And I don't share that to brag or to impress you, just to impress upon you. The reason you don't hit your goals or dreams is because you have some form of baggage or resistance. So if I was you, I would do what I did. I would hire a coach. I'd create a breakthrough session or hire a coach to find out what's all the baggage. How do I release my attachment, but still move towards my targets, my dreams, my goals? Because that can be an art for some people. Otherwise, it's like what I see most people doing, honestly, and they get fed up, they start pounding their head against the wall thinking they're gonna run through the wall. And they come into coaching because they're like, my head hurts. I need to figure out something else. What do you got? Right. And we and we're just like able to navigate them in a different direction, under, around it, make a door, go above it. Right. Instead of trying to run through the wall. So if you're not hitting your goals and this is the pattern I've seen, it's because you're either too attached or you have baggage or resistance. You work through that, watch the abundance flow and watch how quickly you get to your target. Just don't be so attached to one way of doing it because we live in a world of infinite possibilities that you don't wanna cut off all the different possibilities that could allow you to achieve the best body that you deserve, the relationship you deserve, the finances that you deserve, the family you deserve. Like, Don't allow one way, being attached to one way 
eliminate all the infinite possibilities. So like I said, if you found value in this video, hit that thumbs up button, but go in the description below, fill out that one-on-one -on -one coaching application to work with one of my coaches, myself or my wife, because let's be honest, we all have resistance. We all have these limitations that we think that are kind of like our plateaus. And the truth is that's not true. Right? And so, yeah, there might be some lack of action in there, some procrastination, but that's not the full story. I just gave you the full story. It's all of those things wrapped into one, but when you release that resistance, you don't procrastinate. You don't, you don't, you're not lazy when you're in that state of flow, when you're allowing things to flow through you. Um, and when you're taking, when you're, when there's nothing stopping you, you're, you want to take more action. Right, and I've, I wrote here, when you're not in the state of flow, you don't take action. And so you allow yourself to take more action by getting in flow. So let one of our coaches help you do that. And then most importantly, make sure you subscribe to this video, like it, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Hit the notifications, turn them on because we're giving you three videos a week. So I'm excited to bring more content to you and allow you to see kind of what's going on in here for me. Because again, after a decade of doing this and get my degree, my master's degree and 17,000 plus coaching calls, I just want to be able to give back, kind of like crack this open and give you the information that I have so that you can go to the next level because I remember what it was like to be broke in and out of relationships and eating cheese and ketchup sandwiches just to get by and then to turn it all around and have this blessed life that I have now. And that's what Master Life by Design is all about is helping you consciously create the life that you want. So my name is Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.